Hello and welcome back for another CFX price prediction update and in this video I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the CFX chart and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording CFX is holding above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up and in my previous video yesterday I said to you that in case by any chance we lost our key area of support at around the $0.285 mark then there were high chances that we could continue with further breakdown and you can see that that move played out giving us a low at around the $0.2654 mark and at the time of this recording we are seeing a bit of a recovery to the upper side and the key area of support at around the $0.2484 mark has also continued to act as support for us to continue gearing up we are also seeing a reaction of an area that I gave you here basing it on the area of structures where I said to you that after seeing our lows on the 12th of May on the 23rd of May we saw that massive bounce to the upside of being the adiotive structures where we were able to put in place the high for that first wave to the upside at around the $0.3506 mark. Then we started a corrective structure in the formation of these larger adiotive count two. Minimum target areas highlighted on the charts using this yellow target area that I came up with by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one and that gave me a minimum retracement area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78 which lies between the $0.2873 mark and the $0.2516 mark and since we have managed to get into this minimum retracement area giving us a low at around the $0.2662 mark there are high chances that we have now put in place the low for this second wave and we are now going to see a reaction of this area on the Fibonacci's in what will be the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3 and giving you minimum target areas in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that now gives me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $0.464 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect CFX to do in the formation of that wave three and for that to also play out there are key areas of resistances that we need to keep our eyes on and this is what is going to give me the short term point of that is the short term scenarios that we can expect here on the CFX chart where in case we continue gearing up over here I'm watching for a break above our next key area of resistance at around the $0.285 mark and the moment CFX gives us a break above that above that key area of resistance watch out for a successful retest and once the retest is in and a success then continue expecting higher prices to our next key area of resistance at around the $0.35 mark and then a break above that will help us fully maximize our target areas in the formation of this wave 3 at around the $0.46 seven nine dollar mark and that is what i'm expecting here on the cfx chart so the high chances that the low for this wave two is in and we are now seeing a reaction in the formation of that wave three in a move that could possibly take us above the 0 0.35 dollar mark which is our next significant area of resistance once we manage to break above the 0 0.285 dollar mark and to give you my long term point of view here on the CFX chart we can jump to the daily chart where you can see that after seeing our lows on the 23rd of March we saw our move to the upside giving us the all time high at around the $0.49 mark in what I'm terming as that first wave to the upside 
Then we saw a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2, giving us a low at around the $0.222 mark. And there are high chances that CFX is now ready for that massive pump in the formation of this wave 3 to the upper side. And that is what I'm expecting on the long term point of view. And taking a look at the indicators here on the 4 hour chart, on the RSI, we are trading at around the 37 mark. Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bearish cross, though we are seeing a sharp decrease in the selling momentum, suggesting that soon we might be able to print a bullish cross. So let's be patient and see how that plays out, and I'll be keeping you updated.